don't know where Loudoun County, Virginia is. You can't name a town near there unless, of course, you're from there. But that's all we're talking about these days. What's going on in Loudoun County, Virginia? I mean, seriously, did your school board get the day off from working for Darth Vader and decide to spread the good cheer to their own school district? I'm sorry, but there's complicity that's stupid. And then there's complicity that's evil. And you all fell out of the evil tree and hit every branch on the way down. Now, just the other day, an email surfaced from all the way back in May proving that the Loudoun County School Board knew about the alleged sexual assault of a young girl in a bathroom at Stonebridge High School. Yet, as we all know, later in June, the superintendent in charge of that school and others, Scott Ziegler, informed people attending a school board meeting that there had been no such event. He said the predator transgender student or person simply does not exist. But that was only three weeks after another female student claimed to have been assaulted by a, quote, boy wearing a skirt. And that boy is being charged, by the way, with enough disgusting counts of sexual misconduct to make Jeffrey Epstein blush. And that isn't easy to do because he's dead. Hey, there's not much question at this point that Ziegler was lying like a dog. He came back later and said he misunderstood the question which is what everybody says when they're frantically moving their hands over the back of their pants as fast as possible to try to cover their whole ass. And why? Why do you think that this would have been an issue at all if the alleged offender had identified as male? Of course not. It wouldn't have been an issue at all. The only thing saving that kid's twig and berries from getting snapped off for this whole disgusting affair is the fact that he was wearing a skirt. And we all know wearing a skirt makes you a female unless you're Mel Gibson or Michelle Obama. Now, personally, if he's guilty, and it sounds like he is, I'd be in favor of granting him his wish. If he wishes to be a girl, why don't we just get him as close to that as he's ever going to get? Uh, I'm willing to do that on the state's dime. But we'll see how the trial pans out on that one. In the meantime, who besides this illustrious and devilishly handsome cowboy right here is calling for Scott Ziegler to resign in shame? Listen up, a-hole. When you're a superintendent of schools answering to the school board and the parents in your district, you are by default a pillar of the community. You got to be. Parents, despite their better judgment, have placed the safety, well-being, and education of their most precious assets in the world, their children, in your unworthy hands. And you didn't just let them down. No, that would be way too easy. You betrayed them. You betrayed them. That father who got hauled kicking and screaming out of the school board meeting only to be labeled a domestic terrorist by Merrick Garland and then the FBI. People like you made that happen. Folks, we can dream of a better tomorrow or we can make one. It's that simple. It's time for us to get more involved in everything that surrounds us and especially things that surround our kids. We've got to be paying attention to what the social vampires sucking personal power out of local politics and contributing nothing but nastiness back to their community are doing. And we've got to get them out of office. Put in people who don't want to be there but have no choice because they want tomorrow to be brighter for our kids. Come on, America. We can do better than the people uh, of of like the likes of Scott Ziegler. I know we can. I love y'all. God bless you. Let's do better.